I feel um, good. I'm excited. You know, I, every year you're excited, but when you have so much so much um, experience coming back, um, it's obviously a, a blessing. The biggest thing that I'm really looking forward to this year is last year I felt like we were teaching scheme all the time. We're now, you know, we, we have time to teach how an offense is going to attack us and, um, you know, learning big picture more so than just their job. So, uh, and that's when I think a lot of growth happens. So I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, when, when you have success in year one, there's going to be expectations that are going to be higher in year two. How do you feel like this group and, and yourself, like, is, is ready for that? I think, you know, that was one of my concerns going into the spring. Um, you know, just how would they, how would they handle success? And, um, I thought they did an outstanding job. Like this spring, they were they were on fire. And, and really, when I hear about the uh, the, the way that the summer went and, and uh, how hard they've been working, I don't think that's gonna that's gonna affect us. You know, we're still gonna have the mindset that we want to be the hunters, not the not the hunted, and, and that's just the type of style of defense we play. And, um, so I, 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 I I've had a lot of my concerns ease over. When it comes to camp, are you a big believer you need to hit a lot, or is it? Depending it's a on fine the line. Yeah. It's a fine line. Um, you know, you obviously want to be healthy. I, I think it is essential that we do tackle because the only way you get better at tackling is to actually tackle. So, uh, but you want to be smart at the same time. And, um, you know, it, this spring we really didn't we, we really didn't tackle often, and obviously in the summer you can't. So um, I do think we need to get after it a couple of days, and, and again just be smart. You know, we we know some of the guys that can already tackle really well. We just want to make sure they're polished. When we get out. What is your your kind of big picture view of, of goals for the defense during camp? The main things you want to get accomplished? Uh, to to really create our identity. You know, every year is a new year. So we always want to be the most physical team in the country. We always want to be the hardest playing team in the country. And then everything else will fall into place. But uh, they have a much better understanding of what that standard is uh, going into this season. But uh, as far as big picture goals, uh, I think, again, we're always going to be a defense that, that uh, preaches competition. There's no sacred cows. There's nobody that comes in and just has their job. Uh, Lockdown, and that, again, that was evident last year. You know, throughout the season, with a couple of starters that, that got put on the bench a couple of times. So, um, as long as we reinforce that this is a competition-based business, then I think uh, that you know, playing hard and being physical. And being hard. But you do have a ton of experience in returning starters, and that combined with their experience in your system and you having a year here. Where are you already seeing that translated on the field and, and good things you're seeing through the offseason now into camp? I think leadership, first and foremost. Um, there, there's some guys that have really proven themselves over the past 12 months and uh, have earned the respect of the locker room. So I think in maturity level, you know, just another year of, of, of being in this culture, man, it's been really, really cool to see some guys, just personal growth over the last 12 years. So I think it starts there. And then I think just uh, it being a player level program, the player led defense. It's not me necessarily having to turn around and, and jump on a kid because he's not paying attention. It usually is being told by an older guy um, already, which that's what you want. When you have that, you got something special. And I see that. I've seen that also. Is that that trying to prove something motivation that we, we hear over and over again from everybody? Is that is a lot of that coming out of the defensive meeting room with some oh, yeah. of these guys that are coming back? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think... Um, you know, it was definitely a Coach Drinkwitz motto, but we've embraced it because, you know, we talk all the time. Uh, we want to be the best in the country, and that's everybody's goal going into the season. Um, but we, we have to prove it. You know, talking season's over, and uh, these guys are, are hungry and motivated, and, and we do have to prove that, that we are the best in the country. That's, uh, that's what we want to do. With so many guys choosing to come back, what do you think that says just about the program that you're starting to build here? I think it's twofold. I think one, the culture. I think uh, the guys enjoy being around here, being around the facility. Like we do a brotherhood and ball every Wednesday in summer, uh, every uh, Wednesday during the summer, where we'll do ball and then we have like food trucks and stuff. And last year, quite frankly, you would see guys. I would say half the team would eat and leave. This year, they were staying. We had to kick them out of here, you know. So you see that culture, you see that brotherhood um, really taking hold, and then. 
um, I think NILs helped, quite frankly. So, um, which to me is, is one of the positives of NIL. So, um, it definitely worked out in our favor. Last year, you were kind of added minimum. Kind of learning the system that was in place and kind of keeping things simple. How excited are you in year two with all those returning guys coming back to kind of add your, you know, a little bit more of your own flavor and add some more stuff to the defense? Yeah, I think we did that as the season went on. Um, but again, now that they have another year in the scheme, uh, you know, I go back and look at look at some of the plays versus Kansas State last year where we, we maybe ran a call versus, versus a play that they had never run it against and, and really just didn't know how to react. And I think a lot of those those cobwebs have been have been knocked out over the year and over the summer. So, uh, again, really excited about a lot of our guys already know what to do on the defense side of the ball. A lot of them know how to do it. Now they need to learn how an offense is trying to attack you. When they present a certain picture, what are they trying to do? So um, I think they're getting there, and I think that's where you're going to see a lot of growth in this year. What's the next level for Tyron Hopper? Uh, people are really impressed with him, but he's back for a reason. You know, not yeah. just to win, but his game too. I, I've talked to him a lot about um, there were so many opportunities last year that he was in a uh, great position to make a play. And as many plays as he made last year, he, he left a lot on the table. And I said, man, if you finish those plays out, you, you, you could have an unbelievable season. As good as the season was, he knows he can be so much better. Um, and I think that's a big reason he came back. And he's one of those guys when I talk about seeing someone's personal growth over the 12, last 12 months, his, is, his has been second to none. Between him and Dennis Regstraw, those two have grown, except for right now, he's waving out in his hands. But, uh, no, he's, he's, uh, he's been a phenomenal, phenomenal asset to this program, but also you can see that he's so motivated to, to prove to the country how good he is. Where have you seen the growth in Ennis? Same thing, just maturity off the field, leadership. Um, man, I, it, it's been so impressive to see how he's taken these young corners, young DBs really under his wing, um, and just teach them right, right from wrong and how we do things here. It's been really, really cool.